Hello, this is MicroJ101, and here's my boiler, and I'm going to be testing it out, doing a couple of runs, so the steam engine and stuff like that today. Um, so I'm going to be running it from natural gas, and so this will be like the first test you guys have seen. I've actually tested it um, the other day. I was running it a bunch, but I didn't make any videos of it. Or Well, no, I did, but the videos turned out bad, so I'm redoing it. Um, but here is my mock-up firebox. It's just temporary to test it out to make sure that it's going to have enough draft and everything like that. Um, before I actually um, to make sure the size is right and everything like that before I actually go and make it permanent one which is going to be out of um, sheet metal and then it's going to have this insulation on the inside I think that's how I'm going to unless I slice up some of the blocks and put those on the inside I haven't decided yet um, but there's my nice natural gas burner that I made in there just a stainless steel tube if you didn't see that video with the end smashed off and then a bunch of um, slits cut in with a hacksaw so that took a long time to make and then I've got some stainless steel screen over top of it like this stuff here so that stuff should be fine and it's just kind of discolored it's not actually rusting although there's a little bit of rust stuff coming off but I don't, I'm not sure what, it looks like it might be from the screen but the screen does get pretty hot and then I've actually got a little window there so these are just refractory bricks or fire bricks or whatever you want to call them they're really light so they're really high temperature though so, yeah, and then this is some kind of high temperature insulation. Not asbestos, I'm pretty sure it's not asbestos because it's not that old. But, um, see, so yeah, there's a nice little window there so I can see how the burner is doing. And, um, yeah, so the uh, boiler just sits right on top like that. And then, so the, the natural gas goes in here, sucks in some air with it. It burns inside, underneath of the boiler. And then the flue gases come. Um, up here and through the tubes to transfer the rest of the heat or most of the heat to the water in the boiler and then the um, rest of the exhaust gases come this way which when it's all done I'm gonna have a um, a stack or some kind of a um, chimney on this side to more, make more of a draft to help pull more air in because right now I actually have to have a little fan to help it help push more air into the air intake or else it doesn't get a very clean burn so yeah and then this little piece of insulation just goes right on there like that to direct the hot gases through the um, boiler so let's fill it up with water and then I will um, test it out alright so it takes about a whole bean can or tomato sauce can full of water to fill it up so it's certainly bigger than the old one than the um, dangerous bean can one So. Just pour the water in there. After you put the water in, you just screw the um, pressure relief valve on there. And I just put some new Teflon tape on there so it should have a real good seal now. Okay, so let's light the burner. I normally light it when the um, when the boiler's already on there, but I just take the insulation that was that's right here off and then um, turn the gas up and light it there. It kind of makes a little bit of a pop, but it works. So turn it on and there we go. So it's lit and it works real good without the um, boiler sitting on there, but when the boiler's sitting on there and it has to force the um, burnt gases through the tubes, it kind of restricts the gases a bit and it doesn't burn so well. Well, actually right there, it's not burning so well. There's a little bit of a greenish almost flame there. So I'll just turn the um, fan on here and you can see what the, that it makes a big improvement. And I just have it running off of, it's a little five volt fan and just a little five volt brushless blower fan and it's running off like three or four volts so you can see the insulation is glowing a little bit there put this on here all right I kind of got to get this set up without the um, camera on but well, I shouldn't have that cord there I should probably move that but um, it's pretty hot there it kind of burn you if you held your hand there too long but then once you put this insulation in here, like that, the gases coming out of here are not too hot. Although most of them aren't going through right now. Let me... Okay, it's been 7 minutes and 30 seconds since I um, turned the burner on. About. Because the burner did um, go out the one time. Because uh, we were still fiddling around with it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, so about 7 minutes, 7 minutes 30 seconds it takes for it to get up to temperature where the pressure is really starting to build. So it's 15 PSI already, and as you can see, the <clears throat> uh, pressure relief valve is leaking a little bit. It always does, but 
And um, I'm just going to show you some things I rebuilt on my steam engine a little bit, some modifications. So um, I, tr because the, so I was having big problems with it. Um, the steam, and I really didn't design this very well, the steam <clears throat> can go in through this little hole just fine. But then once the steam expands, so it's 30 PSI going in, so it can go through there easily enough steam. But then once the steam goes through and expands by pushing the piston out and it doesn't have much energy anymore, it's really low pressure. So it can't escape back through this little tiny hole and the pressure just kind of builds. So it just kind of stays over here and you have to give it a really good push to get it to go. And the connecting rod kept bending because it was just a piece of, or just a copper wire. So I replaced the connecting rod with a um, aluminum rod I made. And I also added a um, piston ring, which is a little O-ring. I put, cut a notch in there and then put a little O-ring in there. And it seems to work pretty good. Well, I, I haven't tried it yet, actually. But I mean, whoa. A little bit too full of water. <laughs> it kind of sprays hot water everywhere up here. Um, if you fill it up too much, because I filled it up a little bit too much. But, um, so, it does seem to slide really well, but I have not tried it yet. So this is going to be the first test. And it's going to blow again. Maybe not. Maybe it's just going to do that. But so let me put that back on the bearing there. Whoop. All right. So that seems to run real nice. So the modification I made to the um, to the valve is I basically just cut the end off here. So now the um, exiting get um, steam can just exit right out of here and here. So it pulls back all the way and so it ends like here. So now it can it just moves back and forth a little tiny bit there. So it's kinda like this. It moves back and forth like that. So when it goes again. So when it's like this, a lot of steam can exit fast. So that's what I want. So it should work better now. So I think it's up to pressure, we can give it a try. So let me open up the valve here and... Oh yeah, that's much better. Let's turn this steam way up. Whoa! Pressure's dropping a little bit. That's way better. That's actually powerful now. It's like a small engine. Yeah, that's really powerful now. It's hard to stop with my hand. Wow, that's awesome. Let's build up pressure again. Alright, we'll let it build up for a bit and then we'll run it again. Man, that is powerful now. Wow, this modification's really made it better. Huge difference. Just put it along before, and now it's really going. That's awesome. <laughs> I think I could get like, that might be like 10 watts almost. I don't know, that's, that's pretty powerful. All right, we're almost up. Man, this is exciting, that's awesome. <laughs> this is the first test of the, um, first test since I made this modification, so both the, so there's not as much steam spraying out of here anymore, so the um, piston ring is certainly making a difference, and the um, valve, I'm sure, is making a huge difference, because that was a big problem before. So, but yeah. Alright, we're getting close to the caution. There we go, alright, that's probably good. There we go. Full throttle. Wow. Something happened. I don't know what happened there. I wonder if my piston is coming apart or something. Something happened, I don't know what. Oh! The, uh... The adjustment came off. Where it's yeah, it's not, not in the right place. So that kind of bent there. Going too fast, I think. <laughs> I need to solder back on then. 
actually it's just a little uh, loud. Shut that off. Yeah, so my little um, cam follower fell off, so I need to solder that back on. I didn't solder it on very much because I wasn't sure if I, it was in the right place or not. So I will solder that back on. Let's see if I can pop it back on for now. Yeah, it's going to need soldered back on. So let me solder that back on and we'll get back to running this engine. And it has been 13 minutes so far, and the water is a little bit above half, so it's going real nice. Let's see if I can give you a view in the. Uh, burner there, firebox, and it's not that hot the um, gas is coming out, I mean you can hold your hand here easily without getting burned. Alright, let me shut this off before it blows steam again, so shut the gas valve, turn off the blower, and we'll just let some of the steam out, well, I'll just leave it in there, it'll be fine. Alright, so let me go fix the engine, and we'll get right back. Alright, so I got my cam follower soldered back on there, so now it's good and solid. And, um, yeah, nothing else changed, just... I brought the generator out here, I'm gonna hook it up, but, um, I don't have the voltmeter and everything right now, but... Um, I think we're gonna get a lot of power out of this thing, it's powerful. So, here we go, it's... well, we'll let it build up some pressure first. So... Yep. Nice little fan. But yeah, it'll definitely power that fan, no problem. <laughs> easily so it's got plenty of power charge some phones or run some lights with it easily all right here we go full throttle look at that go and I don't think the cam follower is following very well because if I stretch the spring it goes even faster wow that's awesome and there's like a ton of power too. It's like hard to stop. Granted, my fingers are a little bit oily, but I can't stop it. <laughs> Even on the flywheel, it's got a lot of torque. PSI. We'll see where it sits at full throttle. Ew. Putting oil all over the uh, all over the place. Yeah, so I don't even need this one anymore here. Yeah, see, look at that. Trying to force the exiting steam through that little pipe slows it down a ton. Yeah. So I think that valve is the main thing that really was killing my performance before. So there's hardly any steam coming out of the piston now, so that's good. The seal is definitely working as well. And it's settling around like 6 or 7 PSI there. So, I think it'll just run like this easily. It does seem like I um, cut my valve a little bit. The valve alignment isn't quite right because when you, it's just kind of blowing steam out there. So it's not very efficient, but... I think it needs adjusted, but... But it works good, so I'm pretty happy. 